Hello everyone! So today I'm gonna make a video about scale for uh, I'm Nathalie, the French one from Quebec, Canada. So for the new soper here, I want to precise that if you don't have any scale yet, please try to find one with a glass top because when you're gonna use fragrance oil or essential oil, more fra uh, fragrance oil, the FO, meaning fragrance oil, will melt plastic. Not all plastic, but would melt some plastic. And sorry, I'm with my camera and I don't have tripod, so I will try to not make you dizzy. So, first of all, try to find a scale with a glass top. For you Canadian people, I found this one at Canadian Tar. It was on sale and it and I paid 12 12.50 tax included and it was 30 bucks. So, uh, it was on uh, uh, sale last week, I think. And I bought mine in December, so maybe keep an eye on it, maybe every month, every two months, it will go down on sale. So this is it for the glass top. Now I'm gonna turn on the scale and I... Uh, I was questioning myself about something about this scale and after maybe a few tries on it I read something and I want to share what I read. I'm working in Graham and it's not because I'm Canadian, it's because it's more accurate. So try to try to work in grams, your soap will be more accurate each time you're gonna make it. This scale if you want to weight something very light, like fragrance oil, let's say you need only 5 grams, I don't like the dropper thing, it's not accurate for me, and especially with fragrance oil, you have to be very precise. So what I found, usually we tear down any container we have to be the more precise. But if, let me, because I'm holding my webcam, not my webcam, but my cam recorder. So, if I escape, if I tear it down and I try to put, you see, nothing move. Because what I read is under a certain amount, I'm not sure, is it 5 gram, is it 6 gram, is it, I don't know. But if we do it again, we put it back in on zero, and we put the container on again, but we don't tear it. But you have to keep in mind your container weight. So let's say usually for a one pound batter, not one pound oil, but one pound, one pound batter, it will be around 5% of FO, fragrance oil, so it will be around 23-25 grams of FO. So if we do 25, it will be 50, uh, 151. So is, am I correct with my calculation? I think so. And bear with me, it's only water. It's only to show you. You see here, it adds up right away. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But I read it on the Canadian Tire website and I thought it would be a great tip to share with you. Not maybe every I didn't go up to the five uh, the, to the 151 because I think you got it, you got my point. So this is it. I hope 
this is helpful for you. And most important thing, be very accurate with your fragrance oil or you, your essential essential so show you blah 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 yeah that's it e o yeah the e o be very accurate because it can burn skin it can make the skin itchy and it's not good so thank you please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe bye